obviously it's good to get out here and, and appreciate getting to start camp and long ways to go, but uh, got it started and that's a good thing. Paul, where is uh, John Deeson in, in his transition to tackle? How do you feel like he's, he's coming along that? So he's far? one day in, right? And, yeah. and so I think he's, um, feel good about him going there and, and certainly where he's at, knowledge base and all that. I think it's, um, I think it's good for our group, but you know, it's one day and, and really, you know, for the O-line, D-line, the interaction was 12 plays and some one-on-ones, <laughs> not much. Paul, how many guys do you think you're gonna end up looking at to, on, in the return units, both punt and kick off? Big pool? You always start with a big pool, right. Jeff, and then you kind of, yeah, narrow it down. You can't rep it all. Okay. And and I think that is one area where, you know, it'd be interesting. Like we still, it's so early, yeah. you know, about playing kind of everyone's sort of eligible, right? And and so that's one that, you know, can could go to someone with maybe not a lot of experience, but they've got some talent. But I think right now we just gotta find out who's kind of naturally can do it and then who can do it over and over. And then there's a component of like punt returner is different than a kickoff returner. Are they gonna stick it and, and go? Yeah. Um, kickoff return a little bit, you know, can they kind of run through the anticipation as opposed to what's there? So we, we're going to need to wrap it. You got to see a little bit of Crookshank in mm -hmm. the spring on yeah. punts. I mean, did, did he look solid enough fielding the ball? It's indoors. So. That's the thing, right? We we're two days. I think we might add two outside. Two or three. Yeah, so um, he's one that's gonna, certainly going to look at him. What do you like about what Caden Miles can do as a defensive end uh, in addition to potentially being a nose guard? Yeah, well, I mean, I think Caden's, you know, he's uh, – He's, he's got the athletic makeup, you know, as far as size and strength and, and quickness. And then, you know, it's it's for him day one. But, uh, you know, I think his football knowledge, you know, so it wasn't going to be throw him off. Like, we weren't going to lose him by doing this. You know, he's a guy that we thought was ready to take and go. And, and you know, Levee has been great with him. And those two are close off the field as well, so it, there's kind of a natural, so it's early, but I just think there's a lot of the physical makeup and kind of mentally what, where he was at that he could handle it. The defensive coaches have talked about Zach Vaughn's potential mm -hmm. pretty much since he got here. Now that he's healthy again, yeah. can he be a compliment on the other side to Andrew? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Zach's biggest thing is just, I'll never forget, I mean, it was, we were at Michigan State, and that had been his first year of playing, and he, he had two of the prettiest plays on kickoff cover. You know, this is how you, you it's on the teach tapes. And, you know, and then he got hurt after that. And so it's, it's just kind of being able to sustain and, and keep working and going. But, you know, healthy Zach, I think, can bring something.